What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today I'm coming out with a video about using the blooming method of espresso making developed by Scott Rao, and I'm going to try to maximize the extraction percentage by using some of their ideas and theories through this method. Um, so I did some research, saw exactly how he did it, I'm going to try to mimic it in some ways, in other ways I'm going to take it to a different level or different angle, but first thing, I'm going to grind the coffee, I'm using 18 grams, and I'm going to stir them up with this paper clip trying to get rid of any major large chunks in the grounds prior to adding it to the portafilter. And next up we have the portafilter. At the bottom I've got a rinsed cut filter. I'm going to add the grinds to that. As you can see it chunked up a little bit so I'm going to give it another quick stir. Make sure you don't go too deep because that paper clip could rip the filter. Next up I'm going to make a nice even bed before I lay on the dry filter and then I'm gonna tamp over it. Remember not to tamp too hard, and then we're gonna lay our screen over the top of the filter. Make sure you clean off the edges, if there's any coffee on there, you don't want that to mess with the seal. Next, we're gonna heat up our brew chamber. Make sure you add this off-boil water for you know 35 to 45 seconds, the longer the better. We're going to empty out the preheat water, set the portafilter in, and we're gonna start. So we're gonna bloom for one minute, fill the chamber to the top, put the stem in, and then we're on to the next step. Next up is the pre-infusion phase. Again, this is a minute. We're gonna apply four bar of pressure, push the water into the puck, and then drop to two bar. Now we're about two minutes in. You should start seeing drips coming through. You're never gonna get that full extraction, full screen coverage that you're used to seeing. It's gonna run really, really slow, but trust me, in the end, it's gonna be worth it. So the shot brew time should take another minute to about two minutes. Altogether, this whole process might take you close to four minutes to complete and to get out the full amount of coffee if you're going for the same ratio. I put 18 grams in, I'm shooting for 54 grams out. Now that the shot is done extracting, we're gonna stop the timer. It's like about almost four minutes and we're gonna test the TDS. So I waited for it to cool down a little bit. Obviously we're using a filter here. We're gonna filter the espresso and we're gonna start. So we're gonna show you the results. I did five shots in the exact same way. The average came out to this number here. 8.7% was the TDS. And so I'm going to show you what that is on extraction. So I'm using the optimal coffee extraction application with those numbers plugged in. It's a 26.10% extraction. And I'm confident with having five shots very similar that that's a good solid number. You can see the shot itself doesn't look pretty. The crema is you know kind of dissipated and it's become very oily. But it doesn't taste over extracted. It doesn't taste bitter or astringent. It actually came out as a pretty palatable shot of espresso. It just lacks texture. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Prometheus, the blog at Prometheus.com. And as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.